So the, the, the program was, uh, I believe, and I, again, I'm not one that uh, actually in, started the program at all, so maybe somebody else can help with that. But uh, it, it was like aim at looking uh, what the patients uh, were kind of, uh, what was the quality of the patients uh, that were diagnosed with uh, indolent systemic mastocytosis. So essentially, what were the symptoms? Uh, how was the initial uh, treatment uh, diagnosis made? What was the treatment? And what is the overall feeling about uh, kind of how is the disease um, doing in terms of the uh, society, in terms of the family, in terms of the professional uh, lives, in, in terms of how the patients can actually live with a disease, a rare disease such as indolent systemic mastocytosis. Uh, the patients actually uh, indicated that, first of all, uh, there is not enough uh, providers that understand or, or, or are uh, acquainted with mastocytosis. So, so it was, uh, there is an unmet need for patients to actually reach providers that can actually diagnose them. And then there was a lack of time in terms of the diagnosis. And, and also the symptoms of the mastocytosis actually are uh, kind of impinging uh, and impairing a good quality of life. So, so it, it, in a summer, it's difficult to get a diagnosis. It's difficult to get treatment, and it's also difficult to, to live with the symptoms of mastocytosis. So, each one of those unmet needs is a little bit, you know, a, a different approach in terms of how the patients uh, were perceiving uh, that the doctors knew it. Is something that we have to improve with education of providers and and making sure that people are aware of the symptoms of mastocytosis. In terms of the diagnosis itself, I think we have a lot of room for improvement in terms of using things that we already have. For example, kid mutation, we can actually assess the kid mutation in patients. And in terms of uh, the lives of those patients, the quality of life, we have new things and, and we can talk about the new things that are coming that could potentially could be addressing those unmet needs about you know patients being on multiple medications, but yet, not having the quality of their life that we'd like to have.